Let's start by creating a new Mission Maker file by clicking on the New button. We can then click on Edit to enter edit mode. Once in edit mode, you'll see a list of rooms across the top of the screen. These rooms can be dragged onto the grid in order to create your world. Scroll across towards the end and we're going to be using the sci-fi rooms for our game. This is the first one we're going to drag on. We then need to scroll across and choose this piece. Use it again so we have one piece either side. We then need a corner piece. You can click on a piece to rotate it. We then need a T-piece, either end. Two normal pieces and one more T-piece. Coming off this T-piece is going to be this room. This room is going to be the control room of the base. We need to scroll back across. I'm going to use this end piece, either end. These are going to be storage rooms. This is going to be the starting point of the game. We now need to name the rooms. So start by clicking on the control room and in the properties window give it the name control room. Then click on the top storage room and call it storage room 1. Click on the bottom storage room and call it storage room 2. Click on the play button to build and preview the world. You can move forward by pressing the up arrow key and you can move left and right by holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse. you can exit this mode by pressing escape. You will still be able to see and interact with the preview. If you want to exit the preview mode and go back to plan you press this button to swap display. That will switch back to the plan view. We want to stay in preview mode for the moment and move round until we are just outside storage room 1. If we look at the little map in the corner, the little yellow dot shows you where you are. This is where we need to be, at the top, just outside the storage room. We're going to add a door to the storage room. To add a door, we need to go to the drop-down menu under New, and click on Door. Choose the sci-fi door and drag it into the space. In the properties window, name the door storage room 1 door. Now turn around and move to the control room. We're going to add the same door to the control room. So this is roughly in the middle. We can see the yellow dot needs to be just outside the control room on the map. Drag the sci-fi door here and name the door control room door. We can then move to the other end of the corridor and add the final door to this storage room. Drag the door in and call the door storage room 2 door.